Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. Right here I have two 10 gigabit Ethernet adapter. This one is a Metanus Connect X3 and I already made the video previously so you should already know it. And then this one is the new one that I just borrowed from my friend. This is from Dell so the full name is Dell Qlogix. 57A10 dual port 10 gigabit DAXFP plus network adapter. So right here it have a high profile bracket, but I will remove it. So this is how the adapter looks like, and uh, for the connector, we can see that it is PCIe XA. So in this video, so we're going to set it up with OpenWRT checks out how it uh, throughput between two different interface uh, maybe we can run a LAN to LAN port test as well as uh, one port and LAN port to see how it's going and for this video I'm still using the old setup I'm using the Metanet AOC cable which I already had previously uh, it will be connected to the port like this and let's say if you are new to this one you can check out my videos uh, on the 10 gigabit OpenWRT uh, build videos to have some more basic information. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to use the Zima ball. It is up and running with OpenWRT installed as well, and it has a PCIe X4 connector. And fortunately, they didn't uh, block this one. So I can still connect the XA adapter to this one and utilize my connector. All right. So let me just turn down this Zima ball running OpenWRT, connect the network adapters, and then we're going to set up everything. I will now remove the power cable and then connect my Ethernet adapter. So it looks like we have a little bit of space. So we are going to need a space for that. Very good. Let's put it in just like that. So for the test, I also have this uh, tiny uh, PC right here. This is the Dell 7010s and it also have a 10 gigabit Ethernet adapter. This one is the Metanus Connect X3 as well. It running 10 gigabit for sure so we are going to set up this one at the maybe the one side and then connect to this one and then my PC connected to another port at the LAN device all right but uh, for now we can just move it aside because we want to set up the internet connection first so this is the AOC cable from Melanox and it is connect to my PC on the other end so this end will be connected to this board like this. Very good. So I didn't touch anything. This one is still my one port. This one is a LAN port if you are speaking about Ethernet. Open the RT, install on the USB right. Let's just powering on the board. So as you can hear, we have a very noisy sound because this is an old hardware. So the fan is very loud and noisy. So yeah, please understand on that. So we have this LED light up and the other one is not. All right, so we are in the routers and we can see this is the Zima board and our one connection is Currently, people are on VLAN 35. Okay, so I think let's us minimize everything. And then let's establish the added edge connection to the router. Let's log in. So let's see what is showing up when we run the command LSPCI. And uh, we got an error message that the application is not found. So we need to install it first. And before we can do that, let's run OPKG update.
and then let's run opkg install pci utility and let's run ls pci okay so it's look like we have a lot of peripherals let me just run the let's just clear everything and run it so we can see that the device is showing up at Ethernet controllers and then Broadcom INC and then the chip, the rival ABCM 57A10. So this is the device that we're going to look for on the internet on the OWRT rival package. So let's see if we have anything up and running or we need to install it. Okay, not really. So Ethernet 0 and Ethernet 1 only. IF config will give us the same result. So now we will need to install the rivals and the firmware of this network adapter. And actually for me, I already do this before so I know what to do or what kind of package I need to install. But if you have no idea how to install a rival for an adapter or something like that, then let's do this together. So let's say right here we have identified that this one is the driver or the chip. Okay, so let's copy that and then let's go to google.com and then let's put it openwrt and then you will have a package or something contains the driver for that. And right here we can see that this is the package name. So kmod bn act to act. And actually for this package, we can see that QLogic uh, rival. So we can go ahead and install the rival with Lucy right here. Or you can do this with the common lines and I refer the common lines because I can see what is going on. So let's do that together. OPKG install and then KMOD B and X to act and hit enter and that's it after you run this command open WRT will get your rival ready and your 10 gig ethernet adapter is ready to be served okay we can see that everything is up and running so let's check my network interfaces okay so right here on my pc i have a metanex connect x3 as well and the cable is already connected to the zima board on the ethernet adapter but it's not up and running so let's check it so let's run the mess and then let's try to wrap um, bnx2x let's see all right, so we have some updates. So we see that uh, it only 16 gigabits per second available for PCIe bandwidth and limited by five. So um, there were some limiters, but this is true because um, my uh, Zima balls only have an X4 connector. But anyway, it is up and running. And when we run IP link, we should see a new interface show up uh, it is Ethernet 2 and Ethernet 3 okay so right now what we need to do let's go to network interfaces and let's go to the divide tab and then go to the LAN bridge right here config and then select Ethernet 2 and Ethernet 3 okay and hit save and let us go back to the cameras before we hit the save button so right now the port is still not up and running and you can see the led all turned off so we have ethernet 2 and ethernet 3 and we don't know which ethernet it belong to which port right so right now we know that only this port is connected okay so we are going to check it out now I will hit save and apply and these two ports have been added to the LAN bridge and perfect we can see that the LED is up and running it is blinking right now which means there are traffic passing by this port 
as you can see I'm not sure maybe it's too small and another LED come up so right here let me see on my network adapter I can see that the connection is up and yeah it is 10 gigabit per second so let's run this IP link command again and this time let's check it we can see that Ethernet 2 the status E up and then the Ethernet 3 the status E down okay so we surely know that this one is Ethernet 2 and this port is Ethernet 3 or you can also check uh, the log let's say if you are connect and disconnect a cable there will be some logs ongoing and things like that so right now we are working in a mode where the two XFB plus port is in our LAN bridge and all of the device connected to this network adapter will become the LAN member okay all right so uh, what is next let me try to disable my normal the real text ethernet adapters and and now i'm connecting to my zimable via this uh, metanus connect x3 ethernet adapter okay so let's do a quick check let me go and restart the connection so let's run opk3 install zipub3 and then I pop tree dash s and then on my computers let's go to the iperp let's run iperp tree dash c and then 192.168.3.1 and t4 t and let's see okay so on window i can see that the driver for the melanus connects x3 is not uh, really working right and we can see that the speed rough uh, from 8.7 gigabit per second to 7.5 and um, it is like fluctuating between 5 to 7 to 8 and even to 9 gigabit per second but when I test on Ubuntu and other Linux distributions, I can see that the link speed is really good. Therefore, I have switched to Ubuntu to do uh, the rest of the test. So now let's connect the other network. So now let's connect the other AOC cable to this port and config this one at our one port instead of using the normal ones uh, with PPoE. All right, so let's do that together. So um, this is the AOC cables and it's going to be like this. All right, so we can see that there was some light and it is up and running right now, but this port is still a LAN port. So let me first go to the LAN bridge and then remove Ethernet tree from the LAN bridge of course and then we're going to create a new interface and let's call it 1B uh, the HTTP client that's good select the Ethernet interface create interface and for the firewall setting to minimize uh, the configurations I will select one save and then save and apply okay so we can see that we have received an ip address from the dhcp server and yet it is 10.42.0.1 for the gateways and this is our ipv4 ip address so we can see we can see that it is two different uh, subnets or network between our 1b and our lan just right here Okay, but right now we have two, one connection, the PoE and this 1B connection. So we will need to disable, uh, stop one of these and 
then we can proceed to use this one or we need to configure M1 tree and to minimize the configurations I'm going to shut down this PPE1 connection for the test all right so um, that will be for now and then for the test I'm going to do it with Ubuntu to have a better throughput and we will see you there for the first test the two XFP plus ports were configured in the same BLN bridge we can see from the network diagram that the IP address is in the same subnet my PC the Ubuntu 20 is having an IP address of 192.168.3.163 the test server, the Dell 7010, is running at 192.168.3.167. On the test server, there are open speed test and IPUB3 server running. For the open speed test, I got the average download speed of 9580 Mpps. For upload, it is 9720 Mpps. With packet steering enabled, the load is shared between four cores of the router, and the total CPU utilization when running the test is up to 70%. I have also enabled software offloading and run the test again. We can see that they are no much different for download. For upload, the CPU utilization reduced by 10% from 70 to 60. For an IPUB3 test with no uploading and default package size, I got the throughput of 8.31 gigabit per second. The CPU utilization is only 30%, and we can see that 70% CPU idle on the console. I run the test again with shortwave offloading enabled, and surprisingly, the throughput is lower, it is only 7.8 gigabit per second. To be sure, I turn off shortwave offloading and run the test again and this time we can see that the result go back to 8.3 gigabit per second. Let's switch to the routine test. Here the test server and my PC is in two different networks. We can see that the test server is running on 10.42.0.1 and my PC is having an IP address of 192.168.3.163 Right now, the shortwave offloading is still enabled. I have also run Beamon to see the actual throughput of the one interface, which is Ethernet 3. We are running at 9.4 gigabit per second with only 40% CPU utilization. On the top output, the CPU idle is from 62 to 64%. Turn off shortwave offloading. The iPod 3 throughput declined to 7.9 gigabit per second with almost the same CPU utilization. Let's see how it is doing with open speed test. Uh, you can see it is 9621 Mpps for download and 9620 Mpps for upload. To be sure about the stability, I run the IPUB3 test for several times and the throughput is always at 9.4 gigabit per second with shortwave offloading enabled. So this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next one. Bye bye.